I'm Sam Wagnin, and I'm the author of Malignant Self Love Narcissism Revisited. Indians, Native Americans, or Amerindians, are often cast in the role of victims, victims of white aggression and unbridled, avarice driven, or gratuitous violence, especially in the ter territories collectively known today as the United States. But the truth is that the first massacre was perpetrated by Indians in the British colony of Jamestown in 1622. The Indians slaughtered 347 white men, women and children on that celebrated occasion. Europeans are also accused of having imported pathogens, disease-causing agents such as smallpox and measles, malaria and yellow fever, and above all, tuberculosis. Indigenous people had no immuno immunological resistance to these illnesses, as they were never exposed to them in the first place. At least, this was the received wisdom. But recent findings by a team of anthropologists, economists, and paleopathologists, who have completed a massive study of the health of people living in the Western Hemisphere in the last 7,000 years, these findings suggest that Native Americans' health was severely run down long before the Europeans delivered the coup de grace. The researchers analyzed more than 12,500 skeletons, half of them pre-Columbian, from 65 sites in North and South America, and they were checking for evidence of infections, malnutrition, and other health problems. The study, titled The Backbone of History, Health and Nutrition in the Western Hemisphere, was edited by Dr. Richard H. Steckel and Dr. Jerome C. Rose, and they discovered that the haleness, the health of Native Americans, declined markedly in the 1,000 years before Columbus had discovered them. The vast majority of skeletons showed telltale signs of advanced degenerative joint disease, deteriorating dental health, diminishing stature, anemia, arrested tissue development, infections, and trauma from injuries. These were attributed by the participants in the study to limited diets and urban congestion. People became shorter and they died earlier, and on average at the age of 35, as the centuries passed. Quoting from the study, pre-Columbian populations were among the healthiest and the least healthy in our sample. While pre-Columbian natives may have lived in a disease environment substantially different from, from other parts of the globe, the original inhabitants also brought with them, or evolved with, enough pathogens to create chronic conditions of ill health under conditions of systematic agriculture and urban living. Moreover, there are signs that diseases hitherto thought to have been introduced by the white explorers were actually quite indigenous and local. 1,000-year-old Peruvian mummies, for instance, were found to have been infected with tuberculosis in their lungs. And so the white settlers may have contributed to a state of average and global disease in the continent, but the roots of such condition were much, much earlier. 